much traders, I'm Lina and here on my YouTube channel where I share with how to trade your binary options with good and profitable strategy. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss the new videos. And uh, before we start, I want to recommend you my Telegram channel where I show you how to trade and believe in yourself. At the beginning, I wasn't succeed too, but then everything was good. If you want to earn a lot of money, then let's start trading. So let's start our trading session. Now we have 110 dollars in our balance. So fancy bets have already been selected. We will try to um, increase the balance and then withdraw money. We will open the first two trades for 200 and a half. I want to have a margin. If the deal goes negative, although this of course rarely happens, bringing the balance to 1000 and make a good profit. Let's choose our indicators. The first one will be the Keltner channel. The second will be MACD. We will play on the minute time frame. So we will set the setting 6 for the first and the, um, 13. The Keltner channel will be the main channel for us, but the MACD. Mm, signals will be additional for us in our case and will strengthen our signal we will play from sliding ones we should you should not forget about this indicator at all it's a very good indicator and actually let's start our trading session and choose a concept press for us To use MACD at all, you need a good trend, you need to see the trend, let's do it with you. Now let's set the daily chart and in principle we see good trends without flats. Let's analyze everywhere we have a good direction. Mm. So here we have a flat. Here, here we'll not focus on MACD, we will set the chart that was and let's look for Kantipa. Let's open short. It's up on deal, we're focusing on the MACD. First of all, we will have a downtrend before that. Let's show it like this so you understand that too. What level I mean? Then the movements went up. A level of daily movements, but it goes up. I think a small correction is now present, and for this resistance area, the movements went down the Keltner. Also, according to MACD, we have a red chart. There was an intersection from top to the bottom of this chart. This suggests that. The moments will get down, so we open the tray for falling. As you can see, the moment went down, as I said, and then the deal closed in plus. Seven highs, twenty-three dollars, and let's put three hundred and a half for our trade, and choose the next concept. So here we open a deal up tree. We immediately saw the entrance. There was a crossover of the moving averages for the increase. We see the MACD wants to go up. There was also an update of the maximum points, and we see an exit from the inner zone of the channel to the outer one. And then we should have a rollback and moment to enter the inside on the channel. That's why we opened the deal up. Now we see a little volatility in candles. So this candle should be green. Let's look. Now the deal closes positive. We have $1,000 on the balance and let fresh the page. Uh, we will open a deal in the amount of $1,000 and choose a cut spell. Here 
we see an upward direction. But I think it's better to open the sell trade. Down since we see a red chart on the MACD and I think our moments should go lower. Since the resistance zone worked out, there was an upward trend earlier, perhaps this is a correction in this area and I think the moment should go down. And we had a, a crossover at this area from top to bottom. Right here it was possible to happen for purchase and the moment went up. Here we have the intersection going from top to bottom. So we open a deal. Down. Before the end of the deal we have 10 seconds. There are already 1000 to almost $2,000 on the balance and I think we need to make 3 more deals and let's choose a good counter pump. Let's open a deal for an increase here, I think in this case the chart has acquired a good direction. Previously there was a flat on MACD, will not show something very good. We see a solid intersections, it's not worth winning back. But the Keller channel helps us with this, then a good one pullback, good correction touching the border of the channel, and then the moment she go up. That's why we open the tree to increase. So there are literally 20 seconds left and I think there should be an exit in the last seconds and the deal should close in plus. Our deal closes positively, there is almost $3,000 on the balance and we will make one more deal and we will get a good plus, let's pick a cross about. I think it's worth going up here. I'll explain the principle of entry from the bottom up. There was an intersection of MACD moving over as the maximum points have been updated. The support area has worked out. We also see a downward correction from this area according to the Keltner with access to the other channel movements. And based on this the moment she go up, we open two deals for an increase and in the last seconds we should have an exit and close deals in plus. The first deal went in the red to red. Uh, the second went in the plus. Observe the situation in the market, I don't want to end a deal, there is a flat. Let's change the concept. So let's open two trades down. Let me explain the principle of entry. Uh, here we see the appearance of a red uh, chart. We, and we see a reversal of Mark D to Keltner. In this trade, we are more guided by the Keltner. Here there was an exit. We see that there is a flat. But the moment is more downward as it was before. Now we see a pullback to the upper part of the intra-channel part of the indicator. Mm, this area has worked out this level and the moment should go down. It looks like the trend is changing the downward movement and the deals should close plus. Yes, deals are closing in plus our balance. 4,000. $380. This is how we managed to trade today with these indicators. And let's withdraw 4000 as usual, continue, and our withdrawals are processed. So I'll attach the screenshot and um, thanks for watching. See you later.